Welcome back you beautiful people and today I'm up here in the French Alps in the Chatel mountain bike park. What brings me here is this bike, Nick of Vink, Scott Gambler. It's this 2018 rig and it's got a little bit of a twist which we will dive into. Right, like always, I love to start with the heart of the bike, and this is the frame. This is the Scott Gambler. It's a 2018 frame. I love the colorway. I like how he's representing Chatel Bike Park right here, where he lives and bases himself throughout the season. This is a medium frame, but I do love this Olin's rear shock. The gold and the yellow, it just, oh, it looks mean and looks keen. And then the spring, this rear shock is the Olin's rear shock. And the spring he's running on this is a 480 spring. So higher the number, the harder the spring. And 480 is pretty hard because he tends to go pretty big on some jumps and he doesn't want to sag and lose all that pop. So that's the frame, let's move to the back. So what this frame offers is a number of settings that you can change depending on how you ride. On the rear, you can run it a long rear end or a short rear end. And on the front, you have this flip chip on this rear shock. And what that means is you can set your BB high or low. Nico has his set at high up the front and really short. And what this gives him is it makes the bike a lot more maneuverable out there on the trail. Also, by running it high and short, it's quite unique because he is still running a 26 inch wheel front and rear. Right, moving on to his drivetrain, there's a super unique bit of kit on this bike because he's not running gears, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to move to the front. And on the front, he's got these Hope crank arms in black at 165 mil. And then he's got these nice Hope F20 pedals in silver. Some aggressive pins in there to keep his, pet, his feet on those pedals when he's riding that rough stuff out here in Chattel. Uh, he's running a 36 tooth chain ring up the front, but I love these, these Hope bash ring guards on his on his chain ring kind of cool you don't have to run a, a secondary bash guard to protect that chain he's got a nice slick guard here to keep his chain intact on those rough sections now moving to the rear this is the one speed it's not even a derailleur it's detentioner this is the sb1 vink he's got his name on it so they did a little special thing for him a little gift they sent this out to him they etched his name right on this tensioner, it's pretty cool, it's pretty unique. You can set it to whatever size sprocket you got on the back to get the right gearing for when he is riding. Right, let's talk about the rubber on this bike. And this is a Schwalbe Magic Mary. It's a 2.35 tire. Uh, it's a well used tire to say the least because in the middle, there's not much magic going on, but there is a nice tread on the side of this tire, which is key because that means you've still got grip in the corners but then you got a high rolling tire in the middle on the straights. Let's move to the front. Same wheel build up the front, but that's laced to a silver hub. Rubber, there's a lot more magic up the front. This is a Schwalbe Magic Mary, a lot more grip there, but you do need that grip up the front because this is where you're driving the bike in the direction you want it. So you want to get as much grip on the front wheel. It doesn't really matter about the rear. That can just be skidding everywhere. It's pretty cool, this suspension fork up the front. There's a lot of technology in this thing. It's got that TDX uh, cartridge system built into this. It's pretty unique. You've got your independent air spring system. You've got your independent dampening system. You can run it 160 or 200 mil. He's running at 200 mil. Uh, you've got your rebound setting at the bottom. And you've got your high speed and low speed compression at the front. And the best thing about this, you've got two air chambers, one on the bottom and one up the top. It's pretty unique and it's pretty cool to see Olin's on the market. One thing I want to point out, look how big this gap is when he's running a 26 inch wheel. And the great thing about these forks is you can run any size wheel. So 29, 27.5 or 26. 24, mm, nah. Right now the cockpit of the bike where it keeps this bike in control out there on the trail is super aggressive. And I'm going to start right in the middle. This is the Hope direct mount stem. It's a 50 mil stem and that's holding these reverse bars in place. And these are his signature bars and they're pretty cool because he had a lot of input into these bars because they are his signature bar. Uh, so that is a 48 mil rise in the bar and then it's got a nine degree sweep on the bar. So it's pretty cool, pretty unique. He had a lot of input into these bars. You can buy these things out of the box. They come at 810 mil. He's got them at 790. Uh, also another signature bit on these on the bar is these grips. These are the reverse grips, Nikovink. And it's got his name etched on the bar ends there. Pretty cool. I do like the setup. Look how clean it is. There's no 
shifter on this bike. Just two braided hoses leading to these Hope V4 brakes, which are four pot, super aggressive, 203 mil rotors. So there's a lot of stopping power out there. But I do like the cleanness of this. Must come from his BMX background. Right at the top it off is this reverse Vink signature saddle and seat post combo. And it's pretty cool because I can see his BMX background coming out when they asked him to design a saddle because it's pretty cool, it's small, it's compact, it doesn't get in the way, and it's quite short. And that means you don't get tire buzz when you jump a big jump and you go a little bit too deep and you get that little buzz on the saddle. You won't get it with this because it's quite short and compact. Welcome back, Nico. It's good to have you back on the channel with another pro bike, and it's a 2018 rig. But I got two questions I gotta ask you. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one. Still 26 inch wheels. Yeah, I kind of stuck to 26 before because I like the maneuverability of the bike. Yeah. I like, like I'm not racing. I'm not trying to be the fastest. I'm, I like to play around yeah. and I, I don't know. It just gives me that little extra like twist and tweak yeah. here and there. And I like it. I I'm like used it. to it. Yeah, yeah. Have you, are you going to try 27.5? I've ridden it on my trail bike and oh. stuff, and, and I don't mind it, but I, I sometimes I feel just so like, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit, bit wall, big, big. I'm yeah. running 27.5. I kind of notice it going from my dead jump bike to a big wheel, it kind of, it's a bit bigger. Yeah. But then, right, this next question, which I kind of saw straight away because they're both the same bikes, 2018, mm -hmm. 2018, but they're totally different. And it's this linkage. This linkage is totally different to that linkage. This is a previous linkage. Yeah, I'm still running the old linkage. Like they, the, the bike is designed more and more for racing. Mm. So like if I would be racing, I would probably run that linkage. Yeah. But I got a very specific riding style and this linkage suits my type of riding more. Okay. I like hitting big jumps. I like overshooting bike park tables. Yeah. I like landing flat. Yeah. So it just gives me the opportunity to ride as like um, a lower spring rate, but it feels stiffer. Yeah. So and that's quite a big shock in there. Yeah, it's a 260. So and that one's a 240. Mil. 240. Yeah. This next one, mm -hmm. I have never seen these these forks in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Man, they look super cool and clean, all black stealth. I like them. There's two chambers in these things. I, I'd get confused. So how much pressure do you run on the top and how much pressure do you run on the bottom? And what what is that all about? Like for now, like, like right here we're riding bike park. Yeah. So I'm running 125. PSI up top, yep. 225 in the lower chamber, which is pretty hard already, but but I like a hard setup. And um, like running a higher pressure lower down makes it more progressive. So it supports your big hits and mm. it keeps it kind of plush on top. Keeps it plush on top, nice. That's kind and then of you got your low speed and high speed compression right here and that's all yeah. set up to your liking. Yeah, it is like, I think right now it's like fully opened. Okay. Like I opened it today. I'm, I'm still messing around with yep. it. I only got the fork like um, three weeks ago. Oh wow, so super fresh. So yeah. you still get, yeah. So a lot of people think about the free rider when it comes to suspension setup. They just make it hard, mm -hmm. make it fast, just make it super progressive and like super stiff just because they're hitting these big jumps. But you've been testing this for three weeks now and have you noticed a lot more change? Do you change it from terrain? So you're riding bike park here then you go somewhere else, do you go and change that for that to suit that terrain? I, I definitely change my suspension quite often. Like, I, like for example, I received the fork like for um, my event two weeks ago or three weeks ago, Royal Fest. And for that kind of riding, we run super firm suspension. Mm -hmm. So all we need there is like, yeah, solid suspension, super hard for casing, over jumping, yeah. pumping and all that stuff. Now we're in Chatel Bike Park and it's high season, there's bumps, there's you ride roots, rocks, different kind of yeah. terrain. So you, you soften it up for sure. Yeah, yeah. And if I would go downhill riding in Champery or or different places, I, I, I play around with it. Now, bit of low tech. <laughs> Fire. There, there, <laughs> <laughs> there is no magic in that Magic Mary. No, no. You've been, you've been skidding a lot. Yeah, I, yeah you've been stroping. I've been on the brakes a bit too much, yeah, I think. But there's still magic here, eh? that's what matters. Yeah. 
I, I do think it's time for a tire change, but I've just been lapping the bike park. Yeah. And not being worried too much no, about exactly. the rubber. <laughs> nice. I like it. Well used tire, well used bike. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. For another pro bike. If you want to see another video, you want to see another pro bike, click over here. They'll send you to that. Uh, don't forget to hit that globe to subscribe because you're definitely missing out on some cool tech on the channel. Um, give us a like if you like Nico's bike because he will be definitely coming after you if you don't like it, eh? Yeah, we'll see I will. You. Yeah, we'll see you <laughs> in the next one. <laughs>